Hello YouTube. So I have been gone the last couple of days. Today is the 22nd of April and I'm going to upload this video right after I make it. Basically this is going to be part one of a three-part mini 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 update what is going on in my life kind of thing, what is happening with my channel. Um, some of you might have noticed that I took down a whole bunch of videos, now started opening them up again. And so basically what happened then, I think in my live stream, I think it was Ben who asked what happened to these videos. Basically what happened is I had a video where I talked about Islam and the role of Islam that I feel the role of Islam is in the Western world. And I basically got a comment from somebody who recognized me and know who I, knows exactly who I am from here in Saudi. They went and complained to whoever is in their chain of command and it eventually came back to me and my boss who then sat down with me and basically was like, all right, we're going to go through your YouTube channel and we're going to decide what can remain open and what cannot. And well, basically he just wanted me to take down everything. <laughs> And for a certain amount of time, I did. Uh, yeah, so as you guys probably already know from what I've talked about, it is a criminal offense to talk about Islam in Saudi Arabia in any way, shape, or form, except that it's, you know, incredible and the best thing that's ever happened. So obviously, it was correct of my boss for to want me to put down this. I thought it was a, it was definitely humbling and a bit embarrassing to have to go through this with my boss. I'm very lucky that my boss here likes me and he appreciates the fact that I am a very, very dedicated and hard worker regardless of what anybody thinks of me. In other terms, I am somebody who cares about my students. I give everything for my students. I give everything for my job. I enjoy working. I'm definitely not like... The kind of person who comes to work and then just sits around and doesn't do anything. Um, so I actually have to say I'm pretty lucky that he even would do that for me, considering he could have just as easily been like, all right, you're fired. You broke Saudi law, you know. Anyway, um, so I had to keep all my videos private for about a week, and he said if after a week things don't seem to accelerate, I can kind of look at what... I would want to open up again. So um, I will not be able to open up any videos relating to Saudi Arabia or Islam during the time of my contract here, at least not officially. And seeing as how we are in a very bad place right now, and I was actually offered a job, so I was actually offered a job. <laughs> to go to Chile next year and I really wanted that because I was really wanting to move to South America next year and um, I have not heard anything from them to be fair I haven't reached out to them either but I in general have the feeling that this job is not going to exist anymore so this job here in Saudi it's very safe it's very well paid you know everything housing insurance everything is covered by the company and it's very secure because it's a governmental job. So I admit I'm I'm a little weary at the idea of losing this job right now. So, um, but actually last week it was very difficult for me at times to make some of these happy-go-lucky videos because last week and the week before I literally just felt brain dead. Like I think the first two weeks that this whole corona thing started... You guys know I was feeling very um, cavalier about it, very opinionated about it. I wanted everybody to know exactly how I feel it's being approached in the wrong way and how I think there's other things that we could be doing. And after those two weeks of just being like indignant and angry and frustrated, I went into then just feeling brain dead, which I think a lot of people did. Like I just kind of had this... Okay, so this is my day now. Like, what's the point of even getting up in the morning? What's, like, just laying in bed all day? And now I finally decided, okay, I just need to figure out something that's going to keep me 
somewhat sane. So I decided now's as good as a time of any as to really go through my YouTube channel, try to do a certain amount of editing. You guys know I will never ever be a hardcore YouTuber. I will never be somebody who really puts an extensive amount of effort into my videos. So I can also understand when a lot of people just say, well, your videos aren't good. They're long, they're rambly, they're babbly. Why should I stick around and watch them? And I understand. Uh, I just, in general, have other priorities in life. And YouTube is not one of them. Like, I don't survive off of YouTube. I make no money off of YouTube. I enjoy making the videos. I really enjoy the comments. And But this is not my career. And if it ever came down to YouTube or read a book I want to read or YouTube or go out with friends or YouTube or go on a, on a, on a trip or something, YouTube is never going to win. It's always going to be my second choice or my third choice or my fourth choice. But having said that, now I have a lot of time. And so I was like, you know, I should maybe finally go through my YouTube. So the... First thing, if you guys have noticed, maybe you haven't, um, I've completely gone through my gay travel guide um, list. I've up, I've uploaded some new gay travel guides. Basically, in those two years that I was away from YouTube, where I was just kind of like, I can't deal with YouTube right now, I did still sometimes blog or make videos, but I just never uploaded them to, to YouTube. So they were kind of just in there, and I was like, well, now I have the time. I can go in, I can go back, I can edit them. Um, I can kind of make my video playlist kind of make more sense, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm going to make part two is going to be just specifically what I'm thinking, I'm envisioning is going to happen with my gay travel post, so I don't need to talk too much about that. I'm also, I just, in general, in my channel, I think I want to create more playlists so one of the things I think is, this is maybe just what I'm thinking, I think what is causing a lot of friction in my channel is that, and I don't know how other people who are on YouTube or other people who go through life are like this. I'm just not a one-faceted human being, okay? Um, I have a plethora of interests. There's so many things that I want to talk about and do and that that I am just not somebody who can make a very one track dedicated channel so what i think something that happens a lot is that there's people who come because they're interested in my gay travel guide videos and then they subscribe and then they see me talking about books and they're like this is boring i don't care about books and then they unsubscribe or people who come like when i first started my channel i made like videos about having long hair as a guy and having dreads as a guy and a lot of people subscribe because they're like oh i want to know about different hairstyles for men and then they see a video about gay travel and they're like, I'm not gay. What is going on? And they unsubscribe. Or if any of the other things that they might, they're interested in books and then they subscribe and then they hear me ranting and raving about Corona and they're like, wow, this guy is an asshole. <laughs> unsubscribe. So I think one of the things I want to do is I want to create playlists. That way, you know, if you're only interested in gay travel, you will only be recommended other videos that have to do with gay travel. If you're only interested in like things I have to say about books, then maybe you'll only be and you won't be as confused as to where is this guy? What is he doing? Why is he talking about all these different things? And when is he going to talk about topics that I'm interested in once again? So that's kind of like something I've thought about I can do now that I'm stuck at home. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, again, I want to point out, you guys, I have a email now for anybody who wants to kind of get in contact beyond... YouTube, I do not have Twitter, I don't have Snap, I don't have Instagram, I don't have TikTok, I don't have any of those things. I barely, barely have Facebook. I mean, my Facebook is literally just my family and friends I know in real life. And I want to keep it that way. I don't want to become an Instagrammer. I don't want to become a Twitter person. Just the drama of YouTube is enough for me to kind of be like, that's enough. I can't deal with any more oh, am I getting subscribers? Am I losing subscribers? Is somebody angry with me? Is somebody okay with what I said? Did I just disappoint somebody? Is somebody frustrated with who I am? And it's it's for me, it's enough to just have YouTube. So, but if you do want to somehow, there's certain something specific or something you want to ask, or maybe you want to suggest a YouTube video that I make, 
you know, do contact me by that email. I'm already talking with like five or six subscribers via email and we're going back and forth and I'm really enjoying it because it's nice to get to know you guys as well. Um, so again, that's Toshi Tower 2020 at Proton Mail, and I'll put it in the description box again. And um, the last thing that I've... So today, actually, I talked with two of my friends. One of my friends is somebody I actually met through YouTube, and we have grown really, really close, and we talk like almost every day. <clears throat> and the other friend is somebody who's actually been in some of my YouTube video, earlier YouTube videos when I was still living in L.A., and both of them have said something that I've, I've actually pointed out in some of my YouTube videos and something that I think has been one of the hardest aspects for me of being on YouTube. And both of them were like, it's really weird knowing you outside of YouTube and then knowing you through YouTube because you are not the way that you come across on YouTube. And again, this is something where I, I, I mean, the blame is on me. I mean, like, nobody is holding a gun to my head and saying, you know, be very angry, be very ranty, be very repetitive, you know? I mean, like, I definitely know that I don't have showmanship. I know that these are not skills I have. Um, I guess something that has just always been very difficult for me in terms of YouTube is that I think I've kind of now been cast as like a bad guy, as a YouTube villain, and where I know in my heart that I'm not. And I am somebody who actually legitimately really cares about people, who really cares about humanity as a whole, who care. I just have a different way to approach what I guess I think is the best way to go forward as as a ra as a as a race of humans of as a race of people you know i think i just have always i mentioned this in other videos i have a very macro world view i don't you know sometimes i think being kind to one person or saying or feeding one person some kind of something at face value just to seem nice or kind to that one person is not actual true humanity or kindness if it ends up hurting a lot of people or if it ends up hurting that same person in the long run. Like, I've always been somebody like, okay, I could lie to you now and say, you know, yeah, you don't have any spinach in your teeth, so you don't feel awkward with me, but then you're going to go out into the world and maybe interact with 20 people and they're all going to see spinach in your teeth and you're going to come home at the end of the day and feel really embarrassed and bad and I just I've just always been somebody of a mindset who's like it's better to just be open and honest and truthful and to make the hard decisions that in the long run will help the most people and I, I think partially because of the way I come across and that I come that I get very frustrated and angry and hot-headed I think I come across as just this cold heartless person and I'm and I'm not and so I think that is something that's very off-putting to me from YouTube that I think that I feel like can people not see past that frustration to get to the core of what I who I actually am and why I'm actually saying the things I am and also that I think it's so what is so sad to me is that we live in a society now where shallow friendliness, insincere comments, insincere happiness is valued higher than integrity. You know, I will I I do everything I can that I to help the people that I know in my real life. And the people I interact with, and even if you're you're somebody I don't agree with you at all, I will do everything I, that is within my power um, to try to make you feel good or comfortable or safe, you know. Um, but I'm not going to. But I'm but I'm going to do it in the methodology that to me makes sense, which I think is where a lot of the disconnect is. I think a lot of people just 
you know, I say, no, don't bring this guy water. We need to teach him how, how to get water for himself. And I think just within me saying, no, don't give this man water. People are like, oh, you're so evil. You're so mean. You're so, you're, you're just trying, you're just unkind and unhelpful. And I'm like, no, I'm just already thinking the next step. Like what is going to help this person in the long run? Um, so anyway, what, how does this relate to updates and what's going on? Um, I, I really want, and I've actually really, really have tried setting this goal many, many times and I've failed over and over and over, but I once again, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to n not get so frustrated, not get quite so angry not get so caught up in my message because um, I feel like that turns a lot of people off. It makes a lot of people misunderstand me. Um, also in the comments, I think when people attack me personally, I, I tend to be, I tend to attack back on a personal level, which I think is something that is actually very childish. And I don't like the fact that I do that. And I feel it's very embarrassing. And I think it's a very poor aspect of myself as a person to do that so that's another thing I want to try to work on and other than that yeah I'm working on my YouTube uh, it's kind of now I have the time to do it I will never have a fully amazing edited great lighting great sound effects anything but I'm trying and I hope maybe you guys will see it maybe you guys will enjoy it and you guys can give me some feedback I want to say thank you to all my subscribers one more time. Um, I don't think I mention that a lot on my channel because I said I always feel like it sounds a little disingenuous when YouTubers are like, I want to thank all my subscribers. I love you guys so much. You know, and I do want to say thank you, especially for those of you who have stuck it out for me since I've been on YouTube. Um, there's a handful that have, and I know, you know, I've definitely been like, Sometimes I post a lot. Sometimes I don't post a lot. Sometimes I have really boring videos and I have really ranty videos. So anybody who's been able to stick it through with me, thank you. Um, again, always thank you if there's comments. I love getting comments. That's probably my favorite thing. And um, I've told you guys a long time ago, I will personally never ever be the kind of YouTuber who tells people, please subscribe, please ring the bell. Not because I'm saying I don't, I don't appreciate those things, but I feel like... I don't want to guilt people or tell people how they should act. If you enjoy my content, then it's up to you to decide to subscribe or ring the bell. And, um, you know, I just find that awkward and disingenuous as well to be like every video be like, and don't forget to subscribe to me, subscribe to me. And I was like, no, that's that's up to you. If you do, I appreciate it. And thank you. If you don't want to, if you unsubscribe, I don't have malice towards you. I think... Since this corona thing started, I've lost like 15 subscribers. I don't carry malice towards them. They have different opinions from me. Um, we live in a society now where... I'm going to leave that because I just told myself. <laughs> okay, anyway, so this is part one. Part two, I'm going to talk about specifically what my plans are for my gay travel guide videos. And then part three... Part, part three... Part <coughs> Part three, I'm going to talk about some ideas I have for my book videos. So I'm going to upload this one first and I'm going to leave it on um, maybe for a day or two before I upload the other two, even though I'm going to film them right now. But leave this one on just to kind of get the people who are just in general kind of wanting to know what's going on um, a chance to say hello and how are you how is everybody let me know how you are let me know how you are continuing pushing forward in these times and hopefully you guys are all doing well and be safe bye